Hey guys, Ross here from Graphic Designer Pro. In this video, we're going to cover how to create an eye-catching product mock-up using Photoshop and Illustrator. We have a template file to help make this process super easy that you can download from the description below. So go and check that out and follow along with this tutorial. And I'll hand you over to Rory now who will take you through this simple process. Thanks Ross. Yeah, jumping straight onto the computer now, we are going to start by downloading a free box mock-up. Now these are brilliant for creating mock-ups of this nature and there are so many options online now. This one in particular we found is really well made and we'd highly recommend it for a box of this nature. You can find it on this website called mockupsdesign.com. We'll link this in the description so you can just click through. You can see these are the types of mock-ups we can create we actually get a few different files within this download. As you can see, you can create mockups with multiple boxes in different positions as well. So there's plenty of flexibility here. So just scroll to the bottom of this page, you'll see a big download button and you can get it from here. And we're in no way affiliated with this company, but their mockups are very high quality and they're completely free to use commercially as well. So we'd highly recommend using this mockup. So I've already downloaded it and this is basically the files we're going to get. So you get some JPEG previews of each one. So the number one JPEG relates to the number one PSD file, the Photoshop file. And you can see we've got a few different options within here, as you saw on the web page for this. So I'm going to go for mock-up number two. I quite like this floating box here and we can completely customize the background and everything. So don't worry about that. We don't have to stick to what they have in their example. So opening this up in Photoshop, you can see we've got a few different layers over on the right hand side here. As I said, we can toggle the background so we can just go for a plain color. I can equally turn off the background color so this would just be transparent. So that's even better if you're just wanting to drop this over something else on your website or wherever you're going to be using it. We don't actually have to have a color in behind. I can equally double click on this little color square and we can actually change the color Color of the background as well, which is really cool. So I'm actually going to go for a dark gray here, click OK. And I also noticed in the backgrounds folder here, if I drop this down, you can see there's a few different layers within here. We have the floor, we have the rear background, so I'm going to turn them off, but I quite like this vignette that they've applied. So just turning that off and back on, you can see it just darkens the edges slightly, just adds a little bit more drama to the scene. Now the next folder up is the mock-up up itself however we don't really need to touch that that's all of the shading and the shadows uh, again we can turn off the shadow if we want you can see we've got a shadows layer if I toggle that off we can just remove the shadow completely but for this example I quite like keeping that in there so I'm just going to collapse that above that we now have three layers that are hidden however this is what we're going to be using to map our artwork to this box so this is what I think nearly all Photoshop mock cups utilize now. These are what's known as smart objects. And what it basically means, if I double click on the wee thumbnail here, it's opening up essentially a new file here and we've got our flat artwork and it basically means we can create designs just flat like this and we can save them down and they'll get automatically applied to this box. So very clever and it's a very good way to create these mock-ups instead of us having to try and warp and distort our artwork to a box shape and give it some perspective. It's all basically done for you. Now the only thing we are going to use that's separate to this is our own illustrator file. So you can download download this exact same illustrator file from the link in the description and basically what I've done here is set up each panel that we're going to deal with. So again if I go back to our Photoshop file we have a front side panel, the left side and the top side. Now what I've done in Illustrator is I've set up three artboards and I've basically positioned these where they would be. So basically what this is allowing us to do is create designs that can flow from one panel to another and it's just going to create a slightly 
more tied in coherent design when we apply it in Photoshop. So obviously in Photoshop we can only open up one panel at a time essentially. Well we can open up all three at the same time but they all open in their own windows so it's very difficult to try and create a design that flows from one to another. So that's why we're using this Illustrator file. If I go over to my layers you can see we actually have a design already created. So I've just created various layers. We have a background, we have some pattern applied and then some design elements. So this is just an example product box that we used and these product boxes are great for any kind of digital product. It gives it a slightly more physical presence instead of it just all being digital. It makes it look like you're buying a physical product. So we've already set this up and you can see here if I just toggle some of these layers, the background layer for example, we have this flowing red area that's going between panels. Same up at the top here, we have this red section. So I'm designing across all of these panels with ease. I'm not really worrying about where the folds are because I want this to be quite seamless. Same with the pattern and the background color. They're all moving across each panel. And the great thing with this is I've set each panel up as its own artboard. So I don't really need to worry about dividing or chopping up any of these graphics to fit on each panel individually. As you can see, this is a single object flowing between separate panels and you can obviously set up your own artwork whichever way you'd like but this is just an example of how we would do it. So what I can do now is go to file and export, export as and from here I just need to make sure that my use artboards option is checked. So it's going to export each artboard individually. I'm going to select this box panels folder. Again this will all be included in our template download and I'm just going to opt for a PNG. We obviously have a few other options within here but PNG is going to make sure that the quality is staying high. All of this artwork is set up at the exact sizes they need to be for the mock-up so as you'll see in a minute I'm just going to click export. I'll just stick to 300 ppi. It's probably a bit overkill for what we need but just to keep the resolution really sharp we'll just go for 300. So I'll jump back over into Photoshop now and we'll just start with our front panel. So all I really need to do is place these images in. Now I can either go up to file and place or I can just grab my boxes panel folder. You can see we now have our three panels. I've also labeled the artboard so they are actually exporting with the correct labels. So we have the front side here. If I go down we now have the left side and then the top side. So really easy and all I need to do is just drag this into my Photoshop file. You can see this is already sized absolutely perfectly. So I'm just hitting enter. If I click off this it's set up at the exact size. Now from this point all I need to do is save this. So I'm just hitting command S or control S on a PC. And that's going to save it. If I jump back over to my mock-up you can see we now have our new front panel design applied. Very very easy to do. I'll just do the other panels now. So we've got our left side here again Just dragging this in it's already sized as it should be command s and finally the top side drag this in hit enter Now of course we can also create designs within Photoshop as well So I'm just using illustrator to be able to design across multiple panels at once It just creates for a slightly more easy process in my opinion But you can equally put together designs within here. You can load in graphics graphics and elements and create them within these files and as soon as you save them they will get applied to the box. So if we go back to our box now you can see we have our full design applied. I think this looks really cool. We have graphics flowing from one panel to another and it all looks very seamless. It's also very high resolution so I can zoom right into this and you can see the quality is pretty good. It means we can really have a lot of control with this. We can use it in a lot of different scenarios. The lighting being applied as well within the mock-up is very accurate as well so highly recommend doing it this way. Download the mock-up and download our template and have a go yourself and see what you can come up with. So there you have it guys, it really is that simple to create with a mock-up template like this. And if you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one-hour training where we reveal our top five secrets to creating beautiful graphic design, along with our six steps to making money as a graphic designer. So make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. The link is in the description. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you there.